fact, all of you right now are feeling each other's emotions, right? You sometimes notice in the discussion, sometimes the emotion goes higher and higher and everyone feels more excited, excited. And then I bring up a subject where everybody goes, woo, right? <laughs> so, you know, you can see the whole thing go depressed, right? That's because all of you are feeling each other's emotion, right? And interacting with each other automatically, un being unaware of it. Now, you've often seen this in a room, like you, you walk into a room and the person right over the other side of the room just captures your attention. Your attention. Why is that? There's something going on at the soul level. You walk in a room, there's no people there and there's a dog there and he starts barking at you. What's going on? He's feeling something in you that is reflecting back at you. You follow me? So these things are automatically always happening. If you have an emotional feeling about it, then there is something inside of you that is resonating with that. Right? So you notice when some of the other people here express a little bit of doubt towards me, like, mm -hmm. do you notice sometimes you feel some doubt because of that doubt that's just been expressed, right? And then others of you don't feel that. So what's going on there? Well, obviously there's a resonance. If somebody exp expresses something and you feeling the similar thing, then they're just triggering that emotion. Mm -hmm. So, in the end, every emotion does come from within you that you're experiencing. You'll get to a point where you'll notice everyone's emotion, but because it doesn't resonate inside of you anymore, you won't feel it. All right? So, one thing that I used to do a lot is, uh, like, any woman that had any dissatisfied emotion inside of herself, aside from sexual dissatisfaction, um, I would respond to. So, in other words, you know, if they were unhappy with something, I'd try and fix it for them. And, and so forth, right? Because I'm sensitive to that emotion. Once I've dealt with that emotion inside of myself, I can observe them having that emotion, but not feel like I want to respond to it anymore. Right? And ironically, in some cases, I've done that, and they've now become so angry with me they can't speak with me again. <laughs> so what's that about? Is that they don't want to deal with that emotion. They didn't want to deal with the fact they wanted a man to look after them, and, and when the man wouldn't, what would they do? just leave that relationship, whatever that relationship is. Right? So, it, so yes, you can feel everybody's emotion. Yes, if you experience it inside of yourself, if you cry along with it or whatever, then you're actually feeling your own emotional resonance with it. Now, how many of you are therapists? Just, can I just have a therapist? Right. How many of you have started crying when you're working on somebody? <laughs> Yeah, quite a few, right? That is not their emotion. You are, you are resonating with their emotion. There's an emotion inside of them that's similar to your emotion and you're feeling your emotion. You follow me? So understand that. So their emotion is powerful. In a, it might be a grieving emotion of a certain type. They're feeling that and then you're resonating with that and that causes the emotion to bubble up inside of you as well. How many times I've heard a therapist say, oh, oh I'm crying because of you. <laughs> like, you're not crying because of them. You're crying because your emotion inside of you is resonant with them. So it's always mutual. It's always mutual, yeah. And in fact, many of us who are therapists are in that, in that mode to actually heal ourselves, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, most people, it's the case because there are mutual attractions going on. I've got a feeling, when I see someone all over, I actually feel that pain. Or they hurt themselves in some way, I feel that. What is that? And there's a feeling that we all are capable of having, and that is one of empathy yes. with what's going on with another person. So, you know, like we could sit next to each other and I can feel, oh, you've got this pain here or got that pain there. I can just feel a bit of a twinge there or whatever. Now, the reason why I'm feeling it with you is because of an emotion. So there's an emotion inside of you that causes you to be open to feeling it along with knowing it. So the way you're knowing it is by feeling it. You'll get to a point where you heal that emotion and you'll know they have that pain, but you won't feel it in your own body yourself. I thought it was a part of healing. I thought if you could heal them, you sort of taken that pain off them? No, no, no. Why would you want to take, you know, many of us do do this, by the way. We do take the pain off of another person. But why would you do that? Isn't it a feeling? Love would not, compay, com, would not create pain for yourself and relieve it in another. Love doesn't do that. Does God feel all your pain? 
No. So, so God doesn't take your pain and feel it all herself, does she? Right? Why doesn't she do that? Because it's not loving. We need to get that at least into our minds, right? And then eventually into here. That a lot of times what we believe is loving is not loving. 